morning. Just doing a little walk today. Not really sure where I'm going. Be about five or six miles. We tangling bloody woods here. <laughs> just set off from mine. Uh, I'm heading downhill, and then I'm going to get up Pennine Trail. Maybe head towards Wurzburg or Aunt Reservoir, and then come back. It'd be about five miles, something like that. But it's just a nice day today. Probably the last one I'm going to get in. It's Tuesday, and Adrian's Wall is fast approaching. Driving up to Newcastle on Thursday, spending the night there, and then uh, Friday morning all meet up and set off on our epic walk. Can't wait. Right, guys, catch you in a bit. Right, I've reached a little junction and I need to branch off. Shortcut. <laughs> and head towards Silkston on the Transpennine Trail so there's a sign there but it's covered in bloody graffiti typical that isn't it there you go right so I'm going to head for Transpennine Trail and head towards Wurzborough catch you in a bit Hello piggies, hello piggies, I think it's feeding time, I'm going. <laughs> well I'm heading through some stables now, I knew they were here but I've never been on this path before. Lovely horse there, he's got blinkers on for some reason. Might be recuperating. Right, Let's see if I can find the rest of the footpath. So I'm leaving where the horses are. I wanted to go past him nice and quiet, didn't want to spook him. Lovely horse. He knew I were there. Now I'm heading into some sort of bloody jungle. <laughs> the footpath's really overgrown. So. I'll, uh, I'll crack on. Gotta climb over a boulder and being fashioned into some sort of steps. This is what makes it interesting, doesn't it? If you've never been somewhere before, you know it's there, but you've never been. And you think, oh shit, how can I find my path again? <laughs> Luckily, I've got a map. Right, see you in a bit. <laughs> Wood pigeon just disturbed it. Yeah, I've just come across a big wide open uh, cornfield that's been harvested and I'm back in like uh, another little bit of woodland and I've come across this little brook. Look at that. Beautiful. I bet there's some dace and grayling and that in there. Gotta be. So. It's all an adventure, isn't it? <laughs> Beautiful. Right, guys, so I've come from up there, come down the hill down into the woods around to the bottom corner of that field then on the outside of the field just where I found that little the dike or a, a little stream of brook in there and then I've come up the edge this way around instead of coming easy way across here <laughs> so here we go let's crack on some more fields the main uh, one to Barnsley road is just sort of in the mid distance about there one well that direction Barnsley this direction so crack on so I'm now walking through a ploughed field it looks quite fresh actually 
hantle breakers because it's quite dry. I caught up to a gang of walkers just in front of me. So I'm back on the right track. <laughs> right, catching a bit. Yeah, so that's the direction I've just come from. Lovely pasture land. And to be honest, there's not much sign of footpaths, it's just hit and miss. I'm just following my nose and I've got a railway line in front of me now, I know where I am. Them old guys are on the other side in a ploughed field, they've just come across barbed wire fence. <laughs> I was going to film them, but I thought, no, I can't. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> right, so onwards and upwards and wherever. <laughs> Love it. This is what it's about, innit? Have an adventure. Right, so I've now got out of the fields and I've dropped down onto the Transpan Iron Trail heading towards Wurzburgh. I've come from that way. We're actually below, below the old railway line because you can see the stonework and the buttresses up to it there. Fantastic. I love the old engineering. So the original railway line would have been up there. Long straight path now, unless I decide to come off it. Right, see you in a bit. Right, so I've come to the crossroads uh, near Luden Fisheries, which is just their fishing pond. Not been on it yet, that one. Only 3.50 at the end of October to get in. So I've come from that way. And we're going to carry on on Pennine Trail. Down behind me there, that way. And head towards Wurzburgh. But because I had like a mega detour around the world. <laughs> and a bit of pathfinding, which I now know. I'm going to head up behind me. Time 90 minutes, 0 seconds. Distance 6.27 kilometre. <laughs> I've done more than that love <laughs> right so I'm going to head up there behind me up into one well wood back round and back home so lovely day today I tell you bloody gorgeous I wonder if I turn my bloody root planner thing off Mitt River Dove, what we saw earlier. And that goes right through to Wordsborough Res and beyond. The River Dove. Only a small one. But anyway, let's crack on. Right, so I've just done the steepest bit and we walk so far coming up there up to Duff Cliff and uh, one well woods just behind me so I'm just going to get on the road just behind me then up into the woods, happy days right, catch you a bit right, so we're up on the main road at Duff Cliff one well woods just up there I'll get off this road pretty soon because it's bloody dangerous. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Right, I'm off that road. Bloody nightmare on there sometimes. Too many blind bends and idiots doing 100 mile an hour. Right, so I'm in the Duff Cliff side of One Mile Woods and I'll come out around the top end, walk along to the other end down towards the fishing ponds past them down and out and back up home so see how far I've done at the end of it I think I've done about seven kilometers a minute nice to be in shade it's bloody boiling out there right I'll bring you back in a bit yeah I don't know what it is about these woods I always seem to get drawn back in here. An old open top bell mine workings. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, I just get pulled in here and I don't know why, just strange. There you go. Right, crack on. That's a proper widow mecca. I wouldn't like it to be underneath that when that came down. Huge. We're in what I call the ancient part of one more woods. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. A huge branch come down. Massive. I'll tell you what, it's lovely and cool in here after being out in the open fields. Whoo! I'll find somewhere to stop. Have a drink of water and a banana. Right, so we're out the Duffcliffe uh, Duff part of Wunwell Woods. Now walking top side of it towards your car parks up that sort of way in front of me to the right. But I'm going to be heading down and left towards the fishing ponds and then continue down past them and up back towards one well I want to have a stop in a bit though I'll find a bench on here somewhere have a drink of water and my banana <laughs> bloody lovely day today cracking now, I don't know if this thing's bouncing all over the shop I don't know if it's got a stabiliser on it or not but uh, there you go right guys so done a fair old bit about eight point, nearly nine kilometres so far I've got about another three or four kilometres, not sure, I don't know how to play it yet. Just keep walking about, it's such a nice afternoon. Got some water in my backpack. I've not brought my brick today because it's still a bit wet. I've decided to camouflage it. <laughs> <coughs> so it's still a bit tacky, so I didn't bring it today. But uh, yeah, that's coming with me, Adrian's wall. As I, everybody else, we're going to be carrying that brick across it. Can't wait now, it's Tuesday. I'll be driving up Thursday, like I said earlier, stay in a B&B in Newcastle and then dump his cars off, get picked up in a coach and go to the, to the start point. And then over three days, we'll complete the three legs and end up back at Newcastle. Or uh, Wall's End. It's called Wall's End for a reason, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it. Can't wait. Uh, so I think this will be my last walk now. Uh, fine, feeling great. Midday I've gone across rough terrain, roads, tracks, woodland. And I'm fine. I've got a little pain in my ankle, but that's bugger all. Um, I'll be taking my old man's first aid kit with me. So there'll be like pile cream, deep heat, ibrufin. <laughs> Rennies, <laughs> you know the crap guys, you know the crap, plenty of Vaseline for around the never regions and the armpits and that, yeah, and round your feet actually, uh, yeah lovely day, right, time 135 minutes 0 seconds, distance 9.30 kilometer, ooh, I don't know if you're picking that up, that's me like pedometer thing talking to me, it must think I'm insane. <laughs> so it tracks you with GPS, doesn't it? I don't know. All new to me. <laughs> First time I've used one. But I were in middle of the woods earlier, really quiet, and this thing chirped up. Bloody hell, made me jump. Alt pigeons took off. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, I'll fetch you back in a bit. Tarry bye. Right, so we're back into the top end of Wunwell Woods. Come down from above, from Duffcliffe End. And we're in where I call Sasquatch Woods. <laughs> Dogman Woods. <laughs> Them weird structures. It's kids, in it? Or like somebody said, it might be people just drying firewood out. But that looks like a camp, that. A bit kids, in it? All it is, the back at school now, like. Right, so we're just heading down towards the ponds. 
not far now, about a mile and a half, two miles home. Enjoyed it, been a lovely day. Right, I'll fetch you back when we're down at fishing ponds, see if we can see anybody who we know. Right, so we're down at pond, don't seem to be many fishing to be honest. Oh, we've got a couple up there. I'll get some fishing done when I come back. And see all these little ones on the surface. If you can see them. I can't zoom in, but there's loads of little fry on the surface. To be honest, it's getting to the best time of day. I normally go up that end. Cracking. Right, time's pressing on. <gasps> ah! Head on down there and back on. Right, so we're out of One Mile Woods on the road back home. It's about a mile from here. Uphill. Because <laughs> we went downhill leaving home, so we've got to go back uphill going home. start video and the phone rings right I'm about 500 meters from home if you look go away <laughs> I live around just about there about 500 meters away and I went right around around where the horses are down in the bottom right on the back of there and then up beyond, right around beyond uh, 175 minutes there. zero seconds here we go distance to point meter oh there you go then about 12.2 kilometers when i get home something like that that's not bad is it nice little leisurely bimble i went across some rough country though to start with uh but i've really enjoyed it thanks for joining me if you've got this far well done <laughs> Cheers. Next stop, Adrian's Wall. <laughs>